Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Lone Guitar here, uh, and with me, as always, is... Greetings, everybody. This is Jinzo Fighter. And to this m beautiful morning, I am a mess. Uh, I just woke up. Um, and we're going so to I. be reacting to the Nintendo E3 Direct for 2018. So... Right here, watching the uh, live stream here. What are you excited for? Obviously, Smash Brothers. But what else? Um, possible Mario Odyssey DLC. Um, I don't really play Splatoon, but to see more of that would be good. Um, you already told me there's like a, a new Crash and Saint Trilogy level for the Switch version. Uh, no, they they just announced it for uh. Sony, uh, they dropped a trailer. I think oh, it's going to okay. all the platforms. Okay. Kind of like the Stormy okay. Ascent level, but like a new one. So, that's going to be cool. Uh, Interesting. Yeah, but I mean, who knows? We could, you know, Metroid Prime 4, Pikmin 4. There's a lot of things they could show. Mm -hmm. But, now of course, you know, Smash Brothers, that's the big thing. Here we go. It's pretty quiet. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're starting with Giant Max. <laughs> because Giant Max? Yeah, everybody loves Giant Max. Okay. Is this, made, is this like something made by Platinum? I'm interested. Yeah. Twin slash attack. <laughs> Called it. It's like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, but next. Yeah. This like little environment reminds me of like one of the boss battles in uh, Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. Damon X Machina. Okay. 2019. Right. Okay, cool. Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine. Cool. Shinbiki, 3564. Can't believe they're not starting with Smash. Okay. ある巣物とも雲海の底を深くへと沈んでいた。その影には<笑> Yeah, looks like a Xenoblade thing. A oh, great. If it is, you know what that means. We're not gonna hear the end of it. Yep. Yeah. 
聖杯同士が激突お前いい目をしてるな俺の行く道はこの道だ、うん、交わることはない、yeah. ねね、The DLC? Yes <laughs> When we launched Nintendo Switch, our vision、Reggie. was a home system you could play together anytime, MVP. anywhere. Two detachable Joy Con controllers, countless play possibilities. From day one, all of you have shown the world what that means. Whether playing at home or on the go, from low to on high. Where will Nintendo Switch take you next? To a smashing invitation、oh, cheered by fans and challengers, or on a journey through verdant fields and Viridian cities, to a timeless quest to catch them all. Pokemon, yep. Yep. Viridian City. A few weeks ago, we showed you Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee.、Okay. A brand new Pokemon adventure through the vibrant Kanto region where your partner. Pikachu or Eevee is always by your side. Add the transformative power of Nintendo Switch, and you can play as you like, anywhere you like.、Yeah. Or for the first time in this series, catch or battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. Cool. This is a Pokeball Plus. Okay. You can use it like a Joy Con controller with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And let's go eat. Or play the entire game with it alone. You can put a Pokemon into the Pokeball Plus, then bring it with you. That's nice. Sounds like nice. there's already one inside. That's terrifying. It's the mythical Pokemon Mew.、Um, Mew comes exclusive with every Pokeball Plus that can、one. join you on your journey through the game. Pokemon, let's go Pikachu. You get it so、Pokemon, you can get Mew. Pokemon, let's go Eevee. <laughs> and the Pokeball Plus will be available on November 16th. Okay. Discover new friends. And challenges as you explore this mysterious and enchanting world. Wherever you go, with whoever you like, only on Nintendo Switch. Now, let's check out something else we can't wait to show you. Okay, you ready for this? All right. He's desperate. Don't even think about it. <laughs> All or nothing. Oh my gosh, Mario Party! Oh yes! Super Mario Party! Let's go. What are y'all doing? Come play! Okay. We gotta change it up though. That's gonna go too fast. Let's do it this way. Wait, what? We need to have like. What? Angles. Okay. That looks cool. Ready? Let's do it. What? Okay. What? Okay. Oh. What? <laughs> no way! You have to link them up for like mini games. Alright, let's do another one. Fast and exciting. Alright, ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. One more. <laughs> one more. We should do one more. Rematch. This is like a. You see me like. Oh my gosh. Oh、back to the normal style. Yeah,、right? I know. I love it. Bowser's playable too. Yeah, and all the mini games you can like split it across screens. Oh. <laughs> Goomba's playable. Is it online? I don't know. October 5th, though. We'll play. Oh boy. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. Fire and blood. A gift、okay. to help guide the lost. Now, the goddess watches over Fodlan、yep. from her kingdom above as the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Three houses. Go ahead, give me orders. 
it's time to measure your worth as an instructor. Whoa. What should these environments have multiple uh, armies even though it's only one Such a unit? brutal, irrational world we live in. Some believe the crests, tokens of the goddess of power, are well, necessary cool, to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. I'm guessing this is like 3D open world kind of more. Can see our teacher? Okay, formations. Spring 2019, woo. No, not a big fan, so. I don't play. Wait! Fireman. Yep, that's Fortnite. Fortnite confirmed for Switch. I knew it. Go away. Go away. Die, please. You already can play anywhere on your phone. Right. Guess if we really want to play with the Joy-Con or the Pro Controller. Well, I guess Today. the Switch version would be better since it's not entirely touch controlled, you know? I can't wait to drop off the Battle Bus. And meet some of you more on the satisfying. Battle Royale. Wait, wait, look in the background. And on Nintendo Switch, you can have the complete Battle Royale experience. Hmm. Whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Shovel Knight's Nintendo in the background. Nintendo Switch. Really? A console where you can access a full range of games content, including a wealth of groundbreaking games from our independent development community. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. And to all of you, as well as all games. of the developers behind these rich and varied experiences, from all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. Let's pull back the curtain on a few more, including two we're showing for the first time here today. Cool. Aspiring chefs, ready your cleavers, pots, and cups. Oh, overcooked. I, I played the original with our friend Logan. That's brimming with more huh. recipes, fun game. kitchens, a lot of multitasking with fun. Prepare cool. for the ultimate cook off with new features like the ability to throw ingredients, kitchens that yeah. can change on the fly, <laughs> and with Nintendo Switch, the opportunity to bake, barbecue, or broil with another player in wireless, local, and online play. Cool. Save the world from clumsy cooking when Team 17's frantic food juggler arrives on August 7th. Oh, Team 17, they worked on the worms before. Ford berries or wipe out the enemy's queen to claim victory uh. in Killer Queen Black. So joust. Design from the ground up, Liquid Bit and Bubble Bear Games acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became a multiplayer phenomenon is coming to Nintendo Switch. So joust. And for the first time on console. Two teams of up to four each. And wow. It's like that Towerfall game on the Ouya. Yeah. yeah. Kind of. on well, it's on a PS4, too. And finally, venture through the mysterious subterranean landscapes of a vast, forgotten kingdom in Team Cherry's Hollow Knight. An action adventure filled with gripping combat and cool. haunted secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours That's of fluid animation. Exploration. Yeah. We revealed earlier this year that Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch. Yep. And I'm pleased to announce that the game, packed with all the previous downloadable content, is available on the Nintendo eShop 
starting today. Hey. These are just a few of the terrific indie games you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live, streaming right from the E3 show floor. Oh, boy. Where our Nintendo game experts will give you a oh, Super Mario look Odyssey. at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers <sighs> test their metal in our Too bad I can't watch it because I have work. Yeah. Super Smash Brothers Invitational <sighs> Team. Action <sighs> starts immediately following Nintendo Tree. Damn it. Before we move right on, through the I have an important update on a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Octopath oh, from Square Enix is coming exclusively for Nintendo Switch on July 13th. Cool. And you can download a brand new demo for the game from the Nintendo eShop oh, on cool. June 14th. Now, let's take another action-packed look at some more experiences coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Okay. Starlink. With the Star Fox being the highlight. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe stuff. if we don't have like busy days at work, I might catch what I can of the the treehouse stream. Yeah, I'll just get the highlights. Donkey Kong Adventure, Pix Arc, weird. Jeff Dance 2019, DBZ Fighters, Fighters, yes. Coming out 2018. Right around the holiday season. Number 2018, July 13th, Treasure Tracker, Insane Trilogy, June 29th, Woo! Injola, FIFA, <laughs> oh there's regular art, <laughs> Wasteland 2, Paladin, Event what I Fallout Shelter. That's right. Dark Souls Remastered. This summer. Get ready. SNK. <laughs> Here wins. Well, Last Hunter Hunter. Generations Ultimate. Wolfenstein 2. World well, ends with you. Fall 2018. Mm, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. Fall. Well, Mega Man 11. Pieces. I've heard that's really fun. <laughs> Yo. <sighs> Hi everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi of Nintendo. Come on. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. What? Recently, it's been nice to see people pull their Nintendo Switch systems from their bags to play, even when they have only a little bit of free time. Yes. Every time I see that, I can't help but smile. Cool. At Nintendo, we approach development with the goal of delivering new and unique games to surprise people all over the world. All right. And we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making games for Nintendo Switch. Today, we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. Okay. We hope you will look forward to what's coming next on Nintendo Switch. Now, it's time to share information on a certain title. Yes! I'll turn it over to someone I think you know. Let's go, let's go, let's go, Sakurai, Smash Brothers, yes, uh, yes, yes, hype. I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Brothers game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, what is Super Smash Brothers is an action game about smashing beloved games off the screen. The end. <laughs> Many fighters have appeared in this series. I'm sure you are all eager to find out who will be joining the roster Come on. this time. <gasps> so we made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the <gasps> game. Okay. The number next to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Brothers series. Oh, that's cool. Please, take a look. So we can decrypt if there are any other characters they haven't shown. <gasps> it's Battlefield. It looks so pretty. Mario. 
understand this. Kirby, of course. Yeah, Kirby. Original Samus was one of my mains. Bowser. Whoa, that's a new Final Smash. Link. Oh, he's got some new stuff. DK. Okay. Donkey Kong. Woof. They've kind of done some of his moves to him. Fox and Falco. Marth, of course. Zelda's back. Whoa, that's a different kind. Oh, and Sheik's there, too. Villager's back. Meta Knight and Mewtwo are back. Sonic, of course, he's back. Of course. Whoa, his Final Smash is different, though. Peach. Pikachu. Pikachu. Oh, Pikachu's got a different Final Smash. <gasps> Ice Climbers are back! Yo! Yes! The Inklings. Okay, finally, we're seeing some of them. Okay. Captain Falcon. Falcon Punch. Oh. We the trainers back! What? Squirtle! <laughs> Ivysaur! And Charizard! The Pokemon Trainer! Oh my gosh. Ness and Lucas. Yeah. Ryu! Ryu. And Ganondorf. Oh. Ike's back! Yes! Yes! We like Ike. Cloud's back! Oh, yes! My boys! Oh! Awesome. Wait. Oh! <gasps> oh! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh, Pichu! Pichu's back! Roy's our boy! Yo! Oh my gosh! Oh, are they bringing everyone back Mario's for this? Still here. Oh my gosh, Lucina, Lucina 21E? Bayonetta's back? Bayonetta. Oh my gosh. Mr. Game & Watch. Game oh, he's got Watch, some... The ninja. He's got some new stuff. Doc... Rob! Duck and Doug! Ah! Oh, Dark Pit is back. And Dark Clones. Palutena. Corrin. Corrin. Bowser Jr.'s. Toon Link! And Young Link! Oh, both? Oh my gosh! DDD and Rosalina. The Mean Fighters! Mario and Little Mac! Pac Man! Yes! Oh, new Final Smash! Shulk! He's really feeling it! He's really Whoa! feeling it! Whoa! Whoa! Mega Man! I love Wolf and Brawl. Oh my gosh! Ultimate! Smash Brothers Ultimate! So it is Luigi! Game. Yoshi! Because they forgot at the end. <laughs> okay. <gasps> My god! It's beautiful! Yeah, it's beautiful. Like a warrior with DDD. Everyone is here. Gosh. That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. <laughs> Indeed, That's amazing. Absolutely every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game, whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Any way you slice What are the fighting polygon team making a cameo? Simply put, this is the biggest crossover in gaming history. Once again, worlds will collide. Oh my god. Even I'm so, so happy Snake's back. May be as small as the original Nintendo oh my gosh, Sports. they're showing the, the Fortress we extent. streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters. <gasps> we want to make the process interesting, so it feels like you're constantly... Yo, you start off with a small amount and you actually unlock them! Eight-player battles are also making a return. That's a throwback. <laughs> Dude, yes, I love it! I love unlocking characters. <gasps> fighters, let's see. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last appearance. Alright. Mario's still easy to use, but we did add a little something for someone from his latest ah! adventure. Yeah. Also wear his wedding and builder outfits. Okay, cool. Link dons his champion's tunic from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. His bombs are now remotely detonated, <gasps> and his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. Okay, so Zelda. He can Zelda's. also wear Link's familiar tunic of the wild. 
<laughs> He's climbers! Although it's been a while, the two in one fighter, the ice climbers, are back. Work together with Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. Oh. Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Yes! Now you can use both versions for the first time. Oh, yes. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Whoa! That's nice. We now that's have the female version of Pikachu, ah. with, with a heart-shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? Uh. Uh. Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Zero, and his Final Smash has received an overhaul. <gasps> Yo, it's like... And Final Smashes are straight to the point, so you can get right back to fighting. Yo, this is like, uh, uh, Captain Falcons. Bago's Final Smash features an yeah. unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. Either way, the Landmaster has been retired. Oh, Landmaster's retired. In one-on-one -on -one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game experiences. <laughs> oh, that's... A small touch that reduces accidental command inputs. <laughs> that's cool. Charge moves, like Samus's charge Ooh. shot, can now power up in midair. You can cancel with jump or nice. dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Wow. Mark's dancing blade is faster and is easier to unleash one after another. Oh, dang. This holds true for Roy and Lucina, too. Oh, shit. There's thunder in outside. Addition, Mark <laughs> is now fully <gasps> in Yo! Keep your eyes open! Yo! Snake! Nice. Ah! By popular yes! Movies, veteran fighter Snake sneaking back into the fray. It's been ten years since his last appearance in the series, so we can finally make some new dream matches come true. <laughs> of course, Shadow Moses Island is back. Yes! Yes! Oh, okay, what's King Dedede's King Dedede's final smash Ooh. is basically... Let's be real, though, they probably didn't record any new voice clips for him. Yo, Mass Dedede! Pichu! Pichu is also returning from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Its electric shock still damaged itself too, so be careful. Zelda! In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Zelda's more into research than fighting, so her design is from The Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. Oh, that's so cool, man. Man. Sonic! Sonic yeah. Final Smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow, or he's lightning fast. Dang! <laughs> Batman! Pac-Man also got a speed boost this time around. Looping around the stage sounds just like Pac-Man, don't you think? <laughs> <gasps> Pokemon Trainer! Pokemon Trainer is back, with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. You can change Pokemon during battle, and this time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Nice. Also, you can play as a female trainer hey. for the first time. Hey. Captain Falcon! Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one Oh, on that's so cool! Yes! <laughs> we get the Falcon! <gasps> blue! Big blue! Yes! <laughs> yes! Looks great! Cloud. Just like before, you can play as Cloud in his Final Fantasy VII costume or his Final Fantasy VII Advent Children costume. Now you can see his limit gauge near his damage percent. Oh, that's cool! Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. Jeez. Robin! You can see how much longer Robin can use Levin Sword and Tomes. Oh, that's cool. For Villager, right. we made it easier to see what you pocketed. That's awesome! Between the male and female yeah. versions, there are eight different villagers. A oh. Bowser's final smash, Giga Bowser, is even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser from the Yoshi's Island game. Oh! Yeah! Game Watch! All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. <laughs> his transformations are more full of character than ever. <laughs> Youngling. Youngling from Super Smash Bros. Melee is making a comeback. 
that makes three links for the first time. Long, long milk, anyone? <laughs> After ten long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves has received a significant upgrade. Oof. Youch. Kirby! What'd they change with Kirby? Kirby is his usual puffy self. But we've added a little something to his stone ability. Ah! He has a Kirby ah. ability for every fighter. Yay. So the more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes to develop. Yay! Yeah! Oh my gosh, yes. Shulk used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado marks. But now you can choose a specific one with a button press in a quick directional tilt. Wow, okay. Sure is handy to change arts on slides. Hmm. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Yeah. Ganondorf, does he use a sword? Ganondorf rises again, returning to his popular design from the Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. <gasps> Yo! He becomes Demon King Ganondorf. Yo, he uses a sword! Yeah. Mii Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. There are three types. Brawler, Sword Fighter, and Gunner. The moveset for each type has also been enhanced, and you can now choose from 12 voice options. Oh, that's cool. We're hoping to get this fighter ready for online play. Ooh. Hit! Previously, Pit's final smash was three sacred treasures. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. Oh, dang, that's like the, uh... Dragoon. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus' final smash called in her gunship. This time, she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. <laughs> All the more. So it's kind of like Lucario's. You'll see a crack in his helmet. <gasps> Whoa! But don't worry, it'll get fixed up right away. That's so cool. Little details. Bayonetta. Bayonetta's costumes from her first two games are both available. Hold on. Listen closely, and you'll hear differences in the sound effects. It seems we have a guest. Yo! Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Freaking student loan telemarketers, anyway. Smash, Sorry, I, is what I missed. Rodan is a uh, assist trophy. individual attacks to get the job done. Is what? Sorry, you cut out. He's a uh, assist trophy. Donkey Kong's final smash is all <laughs> rapid fire punches. Oh. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Oh, from Jungle Beat, okay. Yeah. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. <laughs> <laughs> Little Mac. Little Mac's final smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Mac. In fact, all final smash moves in the game get right to the punch. So no more transformations, it seems. Ness's new final smash calls on Paula and Pooh. Of course. I Jeff guess that balances it a bit. <laughs> Lucas. Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Bone. We the trainer. We the trainer seems the same, but her face has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the We Fit developers. <laughs> Mega Man. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man stage from Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Oh my gosh. Yes. And for his final smash, say hello to Proto, Proto Man, Man and B. Yeah. Palutena. Palutena's special attacks have been streamlined this time around, and her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. What? <laughs> so OP. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. That's so cool. Lucina and Dark Pit. Notice the Epsilon symbols next to Lucina and Dark Pit's numbers? Yeah, Each did. of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Echo Fighters. So clones. <laughs> Allow me to introduce a brand new Echo Fighter. Oh. E new one. Yo! Yo Daisy! What? Alright! Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. Okay. Instead of a costume. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. At least she's in another game. I mean, oh, this is like a spin-off, you know. Ooh. There could be tens of thousands. 
I hope you're looking Hey, I'm happy. Seriously. Yeah, really. Hold on now. And here's a new fighter. <gasps> new fighter. Oh, it's Inkling. Okay, they're finally talking about Inkling. Okay. Inkling is a completely new addition to the roster. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Oh, that's cool. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb, no. splat roller, and the final smash, killer whale. Oh my gosh! You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Interesting. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits. Yo. And oh, each has their so own ink cool. color, so matches it really bright. Oh my god. By that's... the way, we added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. Of course. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen. What? <laughs> Assist trophies, yo, let's see who's the... While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. Yay! As you may know, assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. You can KO assist trophies oh, wow, and damage, did. and now you get points for uh, still not playable. Yo, you can KO them, though. <laughs> However, some assist trophies will remain unbeatable. Oh. Maybe an unexpected guest will photobomb your battle. Yo, <gasps> it's him. <gasps> Oh, dude, Bomberman. He's an assist trophy. He's so sad. Yeah. Oh, God, the Snag Roots? Oh. Uh, man, that just seems Bomberman are. He kind of earned. Of course, we're also that, adding. He earned a playable Pokemon spot, but, you know. Beware! <laughs> more Pokemon, of course. The Black Hole? Oh, my gosh. A Launch Star? Fake Smash Ball. Oh. Oh shit. That can KO you. Ooh, new stages. Let's see. There are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive list of returning stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge to hit them all. The graphics have been improved as well. Oh. oh. Let's get a look at some stages from various games. <gasps> Yo! Princess Peach's castle. Yes. yes! And it looks so realistic! So realistic, yeah. Hey, the spirit train's back. You hearing that uh that music that, though? Yeah, that's a that's a nice remix. We get Green Hill Zone. Makes me want Sunshine HD. I know, right? New Cork City. Oh gosh. Wrecking Crew is back. <laughs> Moray Towers, okay, for, uh, yeah. Great Plateau Tower, this is Breath of the Wild stage. Oh, you like the... Um, crap, the thing can shatter. Hmm. Oh, it brings it back. Okay, cool. Hey! Hey! They have Battlefield and Omega Forms. Oh, crap. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. Wow. New techniques. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull Cancel off. Cancel your battle. dash ladder attack. Directional air dodge. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. Whoa. Huh. It can come in handy when recovering from That's kind of like melee. However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. Oh, okay. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. 
That's also, cool. you can smash attack by pressing the A and B buttons just like the previous game. Perfect shield. Perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risk, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. Damn, they had some. For one on one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. Ooh, okay. Huh. This should help ensure that the action is well paced. Yeah! See who you In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. Okay. It's a little weird that the damage is higher at one on one. Yeah. I'll have to get used to that. And more. We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay. Yo, GameCube! And that melee theme. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Awesome. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Yeah. Not to mention, <gasps> all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this time as well. My In God. fact, all fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different Nice! Side. Wow. Tap a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your FP data from previous titles can be transferred. Oh, cool! Mm? We hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. We've made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers. Oh, okay. However, we oh. do have one more announcement. Please. Ooh, yo, yo! What is it? Whoa, that's new. No fucking way. No way. What? Oh, oh my, my god. god. <gasps> Yo! Okay. All right. This is the treehouse. Let's talk. Oh, okay. 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 All right. So much to digest. Huh. Okay. So they really banked on uh, <clears throat> on Smash Brothers. Okay. Things that they announced. Uh, they announced new Fire Emblem. They announced. Uh, DLC for Xenoblade 2, and then they announced the Mario Party game. And besides that, 
there wasn't anything too crazy in the drops besides Smash Brothers. So what do you think of uh, everything besides Smash Brothers? Besides Smash yeah, Brothers? besides Smash Brothers. Um, it was okay. It was okay? Yeah, because, I don't know, just for me, like, Smash Brothers kind of overshadowed most of it. I yeah. mean, Mario Party was pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, same. I thought Mario Party was the most interesting thing because I, you know, don't really care about the other series. Sorry. Not sorry. Um, but Smash Brothers Ultimate. Let's go. Okay, so the name. Is it a new game? Is it a port? Yes. Both. <laughs> it's both. It is, it is porting everything in... And, oh my gosh, I just want all the stages, too. That's the other thing I want. I want Pokey Floats. Pokey want Floats. Um, yeah. Stage building, I hope that's still there. Yeah, a single-player campaign. Yeah, that's Adventure what I mode. thought the Ridley trailer was at first. No, no, no. I knew, I knew, freaking, uh, it wasn't gonna happen, but, but, Snake! They brought back Snake! Oh my gosh, they brought back everybody. I'm so happy, like, they brought back everybody. Because yeah. as a random player who likes to play like everybody, it's so it's oh my gosh, and they've mm -hmm. added two new characters. So they've added Inklings, which they seem pretty. They cool. added Ridley, and they finally added Ridley. The debate is over. He's not too big. He's just terrifying. He's gonna be that heavyweight character that really scares people. You know how like Corrin's uh. I think, yeah, it's Corrin with his little spear strike attack. Mm -hmm. It looks like Ridley has, like, a backwards uh, tail spear attack that's kind of similar to it. And I don't know if it's a counter or if it's its own move, but, dude, that's going to be terrifying to deal with. And yeah, I love it. A, I, lot oh of, uh, a lot of the final smashes have been simplified this time too yeah it looks like a lot of the final smashes are meant about dealing a lot of damage instead of doing uh transformations because i i think they they feel that like the transformations were too hard to control you know yeah like yoshi uh pikachu sonic little mac a lot of them had transformations but you couldn't really do anything because your opponents could just you know run away yeah <clears throat> this balances it a little more with how in depth they were with everything. I want to say a 9 out of 10. Really? I, yeah, see, the Smash Brothers in me wants to give this like a 9 out of 10. Um, Just that part alone. Because they got, because like they gave us Ridley and Ultimate and all the characters, but. And a release date. But in the bias, get the better of me. I'm going to say. I'm going to say this is an 8.5, because while I love Ridley and Smash, that's awesome, and they brought all the characters back, there wasn't an adventure mode, um, and there wasn't anything too outland. The most outlandish thing was that they brought every character back. That was the big, like, twist, you know? Yeah. Um... Ridley was, Not much on, like, the content of, like, the modes and stuff. Yeah, Ridley was surprising, but more of, like, I can't believe they actually put him in because... But you kind of expected him to put it, them to put him in after so many years, you know? Um, yeah. So, it was it, he wasn't, like, a complete left fielder, like, you know, a Wii Fit trainer kind of thing, or a Duck Hunt dog, you know? Um, yeah. Daisy was kind of out of left field. Daisy was a. It was that was weird because she has her own costume and now she has her own fire. I don't know why they are adding more Echo characters, but okay. Whatever. If it gets uh, her voice actress Diana Mustard more work than. Yeah, I guess. Sure. <laughs> why not? I mean, she's a she's a fun character. Yeah. Yeah. Um. There's no way for us to play it though right now because we're not at the Invitational, so we or at E3, so we're not gonna be able to play it. It's the slow mo feature. It's the slow mo feature they were talking about. That is super cool though. I got, not gonna lie. Um, but it's an 8.5 because yeah, they didn't show enough. I felt I felt like they could have shown more yeah. because that was their centerpiece. But I'm happy with what we got. So 
Oh my gosh, but there's going to be a lot to digest later. A lot to analyze, but for the initial impressions, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. So, this has been E3. Um... And wow, this is the this is the end of our reaction series, I guess. Yeah, until next year. Mm, yeah, well, until later when we. Unless get... we find something else we want to react to. Or, yeah. You know. Well, well, for E3, I mean, but we we're not done with E3. No, no, we still got to do discussions post E3, so that'll be fun. Of course. Um, so we'll catch you guys later. All right, this has been Long Guitar. Engines of Fighter, as always. And we'll see you later. See you later.